Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned into the NFL on EA Sports. They may not play in the same division, but that hasn't stopped these two teams from becoming big-time rivals. This figures to be one of the great games on the NFL regular season docket this year. It's the Steelers going up against the Eagles. So let's send you up to Pennsylvania. Standing by in Philadelphia are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, Larry. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look live there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Philadelphia Eagles. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Eagles team as they interplay here. It's been a great start to the season, back-to-back -back wins to begin the campaign. Yeah, you don't want to get too excited. There's still a lot of season to go. Nothing on the scoreboard, 0-0 zero, zero, as the offense gets ready to take over the football. They come up with one running back, that's Bell. And he'll get it up the middle. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 13 yards there on the pickup. And that'll be good for a Pittsburgh first. The defense came out with a look that they had prepped for all week to attack. They took advantage, got the first down. And the key words in there, prepped for all week. They really studied them understood their tendencies, knew what they liked to do, and prepared their game plan accordingly. And boy, the payoff was good. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. I go all the way back to college with Le'Veon Bell, one of the better body transformations I've seen from a big, thick power back to the guy we see now who can do everything. And two years ago, of course, last year the injury, but two years ago over 1,300 yards. I think they think he can top that this year. I don't think there's any question about it. Hey, 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 hey. Now a play fake here on first down. And that's complete to Jesse James. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 12 yards on the pickup. And it's good enough for a Pittsburgh first down. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Now a first down carry by Bell. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. And an electric scamper there from the second round pick in 2013 out of Michigan State. And how about the way he's remade his body in the NFL? You remember back at Michigan State? Big, thick, bruising runner. Yeah, he had some speed, he had some agility, but now he's slimmed down and he's gotten even quicker, which has led to more runs like the one we just saw there. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. On second down, it's Bell. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. 
Well, partner, you know I always tend to lean towards the defensive guys, but in this case, I have no defense. How about that run right there? Yeah, just a tip of the cap to Le'Veon Bell, and that's what he can do. You think some people back in 2013 that had first-round picks wish that they would have taken him? Well, that's when you go back to your scouting department and say, and he's in! Touchdown, Pittsburgh! Le'Veon Bell, his sixth touchdown of the season, and the Steelers have taken a first-quarter lead. And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chalk. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in? After a good punt, this offense will start with tough field position inside the 10. The Steelers offense now, they head back onto the field. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior, big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know, in order to keep the football moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. And now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. Down around his goal line. He's going to float this one deep right side. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. The 20. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Martavis Bryant, 96 yards. And the Steelers get the quick strike touchdown. Well, they were back in the shadows of their own goal post. And that flipped quickly. So much for playing it safe. I mean, the conservative, easy call, run the football, take care of it, create some space, pump the ball away, but no, let's throw it. And sometimes a defense's aggressiveness is used against them because when you've got people backed up, After an excellent punt, this offense in a tough spot down inside their own five. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up. Whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook, one play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was yeah. really easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. Yeah, we'll see if it's that easy here. Sometimes you get just a little over-eager defensively when you've got people backed up because the mentality is to attack, take the ball away, or at worst, just keep them backed up there for your own offense. 
They actually used their aggressiveness against him on that one and hit him big. Absolutely. Had him pinned on the two. Not anymore. And they'll keep it on the ground with Bell. And he'll take this one up over the 20 to the 21-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. On second down, Roethlisberger. Man open left side is Brown. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Good use of the pass there to pick up the first down and gets a defensive look that they had specifically prepared for, they told us, coming into this one. Certainly seems like they're holding all the right cards now, doesn't it? Because of their preparation. Went back, watched the tape, studied the tendencies, and they feel like they had them down cold, and they were able to use the pass against them. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We'll come back to Philadelphia after this. A reminder coming up at halftime, Larry Ridley will join us from Orlando with our halftime report, but business to take care of before that. Now Roethlisberger going to hand a bell. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It'll go as a gain of 12. And that'll be good for a Pittsburgh first. And quickly, they get to the line. They go play action here on first down. James has got it, complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Give them 13 on the pick up there. And the Steelers are going to have a first down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Roethlisberger with a give to Bell. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Now Roethlisberger to throw on second down. Over the middle here to Brown. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. There's no doubt about it. That's just one of the best connections in the league. Big Ben throwing it to Antonio Brown. And Antonio Brown has turned himself into such a player. A low-round draft pick, but you can't beat his determination or work ethic. And Big Ben welcomes that. And Big Ben... Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Red zone opportunity. They come up with one running back. That's Bell. And they'll give it to him here. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. They come out here in the eye. Now Bell. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Well, just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. They'll try and run it in with Bell. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Le'Veon Bell in the final seconds of the first half. And the Steelers are going to add on to their lead. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. Yeah, just a methodical drive and something really to take into the lockers here.
This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. A fake to Bell. Now it's Roethlisberger. And a hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Brown, the lone receiver left. They go play action now. Roethlisberger. He gets it to Brown. Complete. 17 yards on the pickup there and also a first down. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. A give to Bell. They find some open field here. 12 yards there as they move the chains. So last week, mostly ineffective. This week, what we're seeing, very effective. What are you seeing that's different? I think what I'm seeing is just a simple... Everyone is on the same page. And I know it sounds trite, but I'm talking about all the guys up front with the blocking schemes, everyone at the point of attack, creating space. And so far, it doesn't matter what gap they choose, they're finding it. A gap, B gap, C gap, does not matter. They're getting there, and they're creating nice runs. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, He's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. The play clock's running down. The give is to Bell. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. And Le'Veon's mother, Lisa, she grew up a huge Steelers fan, so she's got to love this. Her team's winning. Her son's doing the thing for her team. All good, right? Did she have a plug into the scouting department, <laughs> into the front Maybe office she to make sure this all <laughs> That's a big-time big time deal for her right there. How happy is she out of big? A lifelong dream of her team with her baby starring on it. So a little grabbing there, but this time it goes against the offense for Holden. Now they'll throw it with Roethlisberger. It's complete to Brown, right side. They get a good chunk of that penalty yardage back. A gain of 15. Second down. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. This is Bell. Muscles him off. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. They come out here in the eye. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. Now a carry for the veteran. This is D'Angelo Williams. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. 
Face mask penalty, and Charles, you were a defender. You know sometimes in the heat of the moment, it's hard to keep your hands away from that face mask. Sometimes you just get out of position as a defender when you're trying to make a tackle, so you end up flailing away, and your hand gets into the wrong spot. on first down and it's caught it's Brown touchdown Steelers Antonio Brown his first touchdown of the new season and the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead they were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late and now that lead even more comfortable and your first thought is is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So for the Steelers, they get back in the win column as they move to 2-1 and one now on the year. And they'll return home next week to take on the Kansas City Chiefs. Meanwhile, for Philadelphia, they too will exit with a 2-1 and one record. And they'll get the extra week to think about this one as they return to action in two weeks' time. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com.